Okay, we're going to go real low right here. You ready? I'm ready. I don't, I don't see any people here. Just yeah, right yeah, over there. There we go. Okay, we're low here. <laughs> yeah, we're going to pop it up. Here we go. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Hey everybody, welcome to this video. Glad you can make it. Before we jump into the footage, I wanted to show you guys, or give you guys a little bit of context about what's going on here. So last week, I flew out to the Reno Tahoe area out west to go scout the area out because it's somewhere that I'm considering looking to live in the next coming months. I really like the area out there. There's so much you can do. I went to go check out like mountain biking and look at some of the ski resorts to see what the area had to offer. And for those of you that don't know, is just a wealth of outdoor sports and different kind of things uh, of that nature if you're into that sort of thing. So definitely loved my visit and we definitely had a really good time checking the area out and looking at different places to live in the area. But while we were there we wanted to do some sightseeing and do some different cool activities that were specific to the region and something that we found was exactly the footage that you're going to see today. We found somebody who does individual flights off his powered hang glider this guy is a one-man show. He runs this business by himself. He's the only one that answers the phones. He's the only one that runs the vehicles, gives people the tours of the area. And it was an awesome experience, one once-in-a-lifetime type of thing. And something that he offers when you sign up for this experience is you can do a video or a photo package where he sets up a GoPro on the wing and records your entire flight and the conversations that you guys have. So that was the option that I decided to go for. And this is the footage of our tour around Lake Tahoe. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, can you hear me okay? Yes, I can. Okay, good, good. So we got a good calm going here. Clear a prop. <laughs> traffic, Turkey, one for whiskey is left base, one way to Southern Carson. Now, as we're taxiing or flying, if, if you see any other aircraft, I want you to be, I want you to, be to let let me know here, okay? We're both looking for them. Okay? All right. Sounds good. Okay. I don't see anybody there. We're clear all around here. Gotcha. Here we go. All right. We're accelerating. 40. 50. 60. Rotate off. Oh, that's amazing. There we go. <laughs> Crazy how little speed you need to get out. It doesn't take much, right? That's awesome. Wow. Here we go now. It's going to be a little bumpy getting out of here, okay? Because we got the thermal up currents coming up here every once in a while. Gotcha. I'll get back okay. in. Okay. No worries. Yep. There we go. Looking good, huh? Good? Oh, absolutely. Good, good. What the hell of a view. Carson traffic lights, we're trying turning left. Crosswind will be southbound, climbing Carson. Now, are you involved in aviation at all? No, I'm not, but uh, I've done a good share of uh, racing on the ground and communicating with uh, people back in the pit. Okay, okay. And you seem to kind of know a little bit about the procedure here. <laughs> I like the same research. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of same thing. Air, air, ground. Crush traffic lights board track three miles to the south, 6,000 southbound climbing car. Okay, so we're going over the ground here. You can see our ground speed. We're going about 70 over the ground. All right. Okay. And, our, and we're climbing about 200, 300 foot a minute. Oh, wow. That's all we're doing, since we got the throttle on, it's like in a car, if you want to go up the hill, uh -huh. you got to give it a throttle, you want to go, once you, get, once you get up the top of the hill, you can allow the throttle to go down, so we're going to be climbing all the way to get over those mountains there, we're going to get 10,000 feet, oh wow, we're 6,200 right now, okay, but we're looking good, it's amazing, amazing, huh, oh yeah, okay, 6,800, climbing, all right, Being hot out, the density altitude is a little bit thinner. Thinner, yeah. So we don't we don't have as much engine power. Okay, we're going to be climbing 
then what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going be going down here a little bit further to the south, and then we're going to be cutting over on Kingsbury. Awesome. Drop it down into the lake. Yeah, I was going to ask, as the crow fries flies, how far is it from the airport to the ridge here? Oh, maybe maybe only about five miles. Oh, that's not far. No, it's not bad at all. Victor traffic lane sport track, seven miles mid north. West, 7,500 uh, climbing. We'll be westbound towards Tahoe over Kingsbury. So we can actually hear the people of Minden uh -huh. operating at the airport down there. Very nice. See, it's not too bad right here as far as the bumps go because yeah. uh, we got a little green area down here, a little, a little more um, area here that can kind of collect the heat. Yep. And then up here, of course, when we go to the mountains, we're going to probably get, get, get a little more turbulence. We've got pretty good thermals here. Yeah. we got a set. Oh, yeah. 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 We're at a 45, 5 mile 45. So we got to the runway 3-4. 8,000 feet, got another couple thousand feet to go. And Light Sport Track, six miles to the west, climbing to 8,300, we'll be westbound to Tahoe. Into traffic. There we go now. Probably going to start getting into the bumps off of the, the hills right here. Got it. Yeah, yeah, there's something. And we'll be hitting those kind of all the way to Tahoe here. Got it. More than, more than likely. Parasailer above you for one o'clock. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize they ever flew that high. Well, they, they they get into the thermals, you know, the updrafts that we're going through. Right, I hear. They just get into those and stay in the, I've, I've done that. I did that for many, many years. Okay. Third lighting. Gotcha. But it was too scary. I had to quit. <laughs> <laughs> I can understand that. There we go. 9,500. Woo! It's a little cooler up here, huh? Oh, it's nice. I enjoy this. Yeah, it does feel cool. Tower Tower, uh, Lake Sport, Crank, 3 1 Pombo Hotel, 10 miles to the north, east. I'm going to be descending and transitioning east west along the south shore. Tower Tower. Okay, so we got the Zephyr Cove right over here. Okay. We got uh, Round Hill Beach right here. We got Round Hill straight ahead. Yeah, we got Nevada Beach straight ahead. We'll, we'll go off to the right here a little bit so we don't go right over the top of the Celebrity Golf Tower and get them all riled up. <laughs> Unnecessarily riled up. As if they aren't already. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's cool to see where the sand uh, dips off into the deeper section. Isn't that interesting here? Yeah, it is. You, you can really see how it's shallow and then, and then the dark blue is where it drops right off. Oh, yeah. Okay, so... Now you notice how I, I'm not putting hardly any effort into, into flying this thing. See, yeah. I, I can let go like that. Yeah. Okay. I showed you a little bit earlier. If we want to make a right hand turn, we kind of pull that pull down a little bit. Oh. Watch out for this guy here. Yeah. Okay. Pretty cool, huh? That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> okay, now here's, here's where they're going to be having the Celebrity Golf Tournament right there. Oh, uh, okay. They got that all lined down yeah, real nice line here. Up, yeah. And Lake Sport Track, 3-1 Pop Hotel. I'm going to be approaching the center line here. I'm going to stay down at the 6,400. Roger. Um, uh, yeah, I got a, I got a visual on one aircraft coming here. I'll stay way below. <laughs> going over top of us. Okay. Yeah. Tower, uh, Goldstream, nine, six, nine, we're on the visual for one eight. Yep. Pretty cool, huh? There's a shadow. <laughs> yep. Okay, we're gonna go real low right here. You ready? I'm ready. I don't, I don't see any people here. So nope, right yep, over there. There's one over there. Down 
Now, I was going to show you how to apply it so go ahead and you can put your hands up, but, but don't put hardly any pressure. Nice and light. Just right. like in those trips you're driving. You're not trying yeah. to... I got you to do too much here. Okay, nice and easy. Okay. Oh, wow. Nice and easy. Just like that. There we go. We're going to stay right off the shoreline here, just like yeah. that. Another place we can try and go a little bit low here if there's no people. We're at uh, right. three miles. Uh, I'm I've, sure I've got the controls here. All right. Uh, we're starting to get more and more people here, so we don't have yeah. quite as much opportunity for that. We'll see what we can do here. Just we'll see. We'll see what we got. Yeah. We're going to go right around this thing. Here we yeah. go. Got a couple paddle boarders. Here we go. Go out right around here. Four miles over this way here somewhere. Yep, he's in here at two o'clock. You are good at spotting these guys. <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of go out here. We're gonna turn right in Emerald Bay. We're gonna get that signature Emerald Bay shot. All right. Boy, look at all those boats going in there. Wow, that's incredible. Well, this is the most popular spot, really, on Tahoe right here, Emerald Bay. Okay. And one of the most photographed places in the United States. Yeah. Okay, so here we go, back in the Emerald Bay. All right. Um, where they went. There we go. We got, so now we got Emerald Bay, Santa Island, the only island in, in the car straight ahead. Okay. Desolation Wilderness up there. See, we still got some snow to smelting. Yeah. Here in the middle of July. <laughs> Right there. Yeah. Top Tower, uh, Light Sport Track, 31 Papa Hotel, six miles to the west. I'm going to be transitioning back west to east along the South Shore uh, low, about the same uh, path I came came through. Super Light, uh, 12 Papa Hotel, two other Let you fly it again here. All there right. you go. Got it. Kind of keep us right off the water like that. Got it. Yeah, this is very responsive. It doesn't take hardly anything. Uh -huh. You just kind of think it. Oh, now, yeah. there's other ones like, there's other powered hang gliders that are that, that just like flying a truck. Right. But this is like driving a sports car. Oh, very much so. <laughs> Fun, huh? Oh, man. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Good job, good job. Thank you. Now you're getting the feel of it a little bit better here, right? Yeah, it keeps it nice and steady. Pretty busy here with all the jets coming in. Yeah, it seems like it. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the controls here. We're gonna go down here. We got another little spot here. Okay. Right. Make a uh, left 360. Uh, I might have to spin you one more time. I got uh, IFR traffic getting down off the road. There we go. And that was a right 360 for seven more Nice and low left here. <laughs> okay, left 360. Seven more time. Come on. Nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tower Lights Fort Track, 31 Bob Hotel. Uh, get near the extended center line, 186,500. Oh, look at them all out there, practicing. Oh, yeah, they were swinging earlier. Now, uh, Tower 76, we're sitting at Boston uh, Memorial Hospital, Northwest Conover Field, uh, which need a northeast departure of some present position uh, to help you out. There we go. Okay, you want to take the controls again? There we go. So we're kind of feeling, feeling a little bit of that. Yep. Th thermals there as we're coming over this 
section right here. Look at this. We've got a nice steady climb going here. Got it. There we go. Right over Zephyr Cove here. Oh, yeah. Beautiful spot. Climbing up. We'll get Cave Rock straight ahead. Okay. Good, good. Nice job flying. the water here a little bit. We're going to actually be headed that way, but we kind of want to avoid the bumps. Okay, I follow. As long as possible. There we go. And we got a pretty good, you know, pretty good wind coming here, so it's... Yeah, I'm feeling it. You can kind of feel it kind of pushing us a little bit. Yes, I do. This side, so we got nice... Nice air coming off the leg. Oh, yeah. We're going to enjoy that while we can. Yeah. Now, isn't that interesting? Look at the colors down there. See how it's kind of shallow? we got one little rock poking up right there. Oh, that's a rock. That's one little rock poking up. Oh, my goodness. And then those are two of the warning buoys. Okay. Yep, I see them. One little rock poking up. So is that reefs or what is that? Yeah, yeah, it's just kind of a, I guess you'd call it a reef. Interesting land landform there, huh? Yeah. And we're co coming up on Glenbrook. Now, Glenbrook, back in the olden days, the train used to come up uh, right where that highway is. It would drop people off at Glenbrook oh. to stay right ahead. And then they would take the steamships to all the locations on Tahoe. Oh, wow. Okay, so we're good. We're going to go ahead and we're going to make a break for it. So we'll make a right turn here. Right. Right. Down, there you go. Nice job flying, too. Thank you very much. How long have you been doing this? Oh, since I was 15 years old. I've been flying longer than you've been alive. Oh, goodness. How's that for a, <laughs> yep. Yep. a while, huh? Oh, sure. Actually, I built my first hang glider when I was 15 years old. No way. I taught myself how to fly it. That is awesome. I've been kind of doing, doing aviation-related stuff ever since. I can see why. It's fun, huh? Oh, yeah. Nobody else does. Okay, so I'm going to take the controls now here as we right. get through the bumps here, if you don't mind. Go for it. Carson driving lace work track, 10 miles to the southwest, 10,000 to bound, Carson. There we go. Well, it's not too, not, not too bad so far, huh? Yeah, it's been quite nice. Really big bumps. Now, see, we've got another leg right out to the left there. See that lake right there? Yeah. The much higher? Yeah, that's 1,400 feet above Lake Tahoe. Oh, my goodness. That's called Barlett Lake. Oh. Yeah, here we go. Now, see, see the uh, lake right out here? Four years ago, that was completely dry. Really? It's only like, that lake is only like nine foot deep. Okay. And we had, you know, we went through like a 10 year drought. Right. And then it completely dried up. And just the last four years, it's filled back up. Now we're kind of going back into the drought years. Interesting. So we're probably, uh, it took like, you know, eight years to dry up totally, but it's slowly drying up as we go. Gotcha. Was it man filled or was that natural? No, 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 so all natural. Oh, wow. You know, you, you know, there's a lot of these, these, these kinds of lakes yeah. out in, you know, this part of the country. In fact, if we look out Highway 50, we can see if we kind of look off to the right of the road, you can see another, that's another actually dry lake. Oh, okay. That's Sandy's way section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that one kind of light section out there. Yeah, I see it. It's another dry lake bed. You know, dry lake bed. Yeah, this is just a wet lake bed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Traffic lights for track, uh, six mile 45, 7,600 uh, inbound cars. Nice, nice bumps. Yeah, nice bumps there. Of course, we'd expect that right over this stuff right here, right? Yep, where it's the hottest. Get the hottest. And these bumps just keep building all day. Uh-huh. Until about 2 or 3 o'clock is when they're the most, and then they start subsiding a little bit as the sun starts to go down. Yeah. But that's when they explain the evening a lot easier. Yep. 
Yeah, that's why I try not to fly too, you know, too late. But see, today wasn't bad. I, I was, I uh, decided to take you because there wasn't any, uh, any real wind. Got it. If you start combining the wind and the bumps, now it really gets, yeah, gnarly. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm very glad it worked out. Carson traffic, uh, light sport track on a four mile 45 to left traffic, two seven cars. Okay, so we're on our nice, organized 45. Yep. Right towards the middle of the airfield here. It's like our highway in the sky. Got it. When I say I'm on a 45, 45 degree angle, 45, they know that that's an established leg of the pattern of our highways here. Oh, oh, I see. Yep, I follow. See, now we don't have a tower to tell us where to go and what to do. We gotta work it out on our own. Okay, got to talk you see? Yep, talk to the pilot. Like that tower, they were telling us where to go, what to do. Right. Keep the control of everything. Here we got to work it out on our own. Oh, ah, okay. I was wondering that. Yeah. It usually works out pretty good. We all want the same thing, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Safe landing and not crash. Yeah, yeah. We all want to, don't, don't want to hit each other. Oh, yeah. Traffic lights for trike. Base the final. Down the runway a little bit here to turn up the tactic quite so far. Yeah. Put this guy in back of us. All right. There we go. Let's start bringing it in. Start to slow it up. All right. There we go. Oh man, that lands light. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to have to get some practice in. Yeah. That's before, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, as far as flying, landing is one of the hardest, you know, skills to Oh, yeah. To develop. Service here, Q-Jurisdiction, 50 turning left base, runway 2 